So in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about layering fragrances and the mistake I made. Stay tuned. All right, so let's talk a little bit about layering fragrances. And I'm gonna be upfront and honest, I am the absolute last person on earth, not earth, earth, that should be telling anybody about layering fragrances. I, for one, do not layer fragrances. Um, even though they can turn out to be good, it also can go horribly wrong like it did for me yesterday. And I don't study fragrances like most people do. I just pick something that I like and I go with it. Simple as that. Fragrance, most fragrances can be phenomenal on their own. And they also can be elevated when layered with something else as long as you know what you're doing. I don't know what I was, I didn't know what I was doing, sorry. And I can be upfront and honest about it. So yesterday, I wore Albatash Concepts number one. And if you don't know anything about this fragrance, then definitely you need to look it up. This is a Middle Eastern fragrance. It is very expensive. You can find it for a somewhat decent price if you look hard enough. This is a fantastic fragrance. It is a kind of citrusy. It's very fresh. It's clean. It has fruit aspects to it. Um, very nice fragrance. What I did was I have two Bond Number no. 9 fragrances that I've mentioned in a video or two before, but I haven't done like a review on them. I just showed the bottle, but the one I actually wore yesterday is Bond Number no. 9's New York Patchouli. I have never worn this fragrance or the other Bond Number no. 9 fragrance. So I decided, okay, well let's go with this one. Both fragrances I own are unisex. And one leans more feminine. The other one you can tell has feminine aspects, but it does smell a little masculine. This patchouli one, I sprayed on my usual seven sprays. And for some strange reason, I wasn't smelling anything. Now, I can actually smell the patchouli coming out of the atomizer. The scent smells good. I sprayed it on my skin, I got nothing. I couldn't even smell it. So I thought to myself after a few minutes, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go with a sure thing. So I pulled this one out and instead of wiping off where I sprayed, I just sprayed this on top of it. I was smelling fantastic with this. This thing was performing like it should, like crazy. I got a compliment at the gas station where I pulled up to get me something to drink. And a young lady said I smell good. Several hours later, that patchouli kicked in and it overpowered this fragrance to the point where both of these were clashing with each other and it did not smell good at all. It actually had me smelling kind of rancid to me. Now other people around me may have liked the scent, but off of my skin, that patchouli was trying to take this out completely. And they were just clashing with each other. And I got to a point where I barely could even stand smelling this on myself. It turned putrid. I didn't want it on my skin anymore. I, I Throughout the day, I kept smelling my wrist and I was like, oh man, that does not smell good at all. So I don't know what it is, whether it's mixing this patchouli with this freshie or what the, de what the deal was, but off of my skin, New York patchouli and Albatage Concepts was not, even though it wasn't intended to be blended because I didn't smell anything, it's not meant to go together. So Take my word for it. If you have this fragrance and you have this or something else with patchouli in it, I do not 
recommend blending a freshy with patchouli. That does not work. Not for me, it didn't anyway. So that was just my little short video, about five minutes um, of the mistake, <laughs> mistake I made um, layering two fragrances. So hopefully this shed a little bit of light on sometimes how layering can go wrong if you like this kind of content let me know in the comment section by leaving a comment like share subscribe all that good stuff i guess here is to smelling great peace